have four important class in phyla arthropoda. Number one is called a crustacea. Crustaceans. We're going to be looking at some examples of crustaceans. Number two, we have what we call insecta. Insecta. Number three, we have what we call arachnida. Number four, we have what we call myriapoda. Myriapoda. These are the four major classes of phyla arthropoda. Please don't forget this. Now, take a look at some of the examples. Now, we have the class called crustacea. Now, they include organisms like um, crabs, crayfish, prawn, shrimps, etc. You can see on the screen there, that is a prawn. All right. Then we also have the class insecta. Insecta. We have the cockroach, the termites. And please, if I may also add to this, please take note of the external features of cockroach and termites as well as the butterfly. It's very important for your practicals. Then also we have examples like um, the grasshoppers. We have the bee, which you can see on the screen. We also have the housefly and so many others. Next is the arachnida. The arachnida. As you can see, the arachnida, they include organisms or animals like the spider. We have the scorpion. We have the ticks. We have the mites and so on. These are examples of arachnids, okay, or arachnida. Now, if you look at the arachnida there on the screen, the diagram, you're going to find or notice that it has eight legs, and we're going to be talking about some of their characteristics, okay? Now, finally, the last class is called myriapoda. Myriapoda. Now, they include the millipede and the centipede. As you can see on the screen, we have centipede, and then we have the millipede. Okay, please note their differences. One is has poisonous fangs and one the other one does not. The centipede has a poisonous fangs while the millipede does not.